Hello, dear my students. Let's start our online mathematics class. Open your book, page number 113. So today I will teach you about division by 10, 100, and 1000, etc. Page number 114, you see. When we divide by 10, the decimal point shifts to the left by one place. When we divide by 100, the decimal point shifts to the left by two places. When we divide by 1000, the decimal point shifts to the left by three places. Division is opposite of multiplication. Multiplication by 10, 100 and 1000 increases the value of the number by 10, 100 and 1000 times. And division reduces the value by 10, 100 and 1000 times respectively. In multiplication, decimal point moves to the right. This point you have to remember. In multiplication, decimal point moves to the right and in division, it, it means decimal point. Okay. In division, decimal point moves to the left as many places as there are zeros in the divisor. Example, example 45 you see. 536 divided by 100. So here you see 2 0 in denominator. So before 2 number you put decimal point. Okay. 1 2. Here you put decimal point. 5.36 is your answer. Example 46 you see. 758.3 divided by 1000. So here you see it is a decimal number. It is whole number but it is decimal number. So here you see 3 0 in denominator or in divisor. Okay. So decimal point shaped to the three places sorry decimal point shift uh, to the left by three places okay one two three so point seven five eight three and here you write zero so it is your answer one more example you see 80.15 in uh, divided by 100 80 into 15 divided by 100 2 0 in divisor so decimal point moves or decimal point shifts to the left by two places 1 2 point 8015 and here you write 0 it is your answer Okay. Then, but in multiplication, decimal point shifts to the right. Okay. You remember, in division, decimal point moves or shifts to the left. But in multiplication, it moves to the right example 80.15 into 100 so decimal point shifts to the right by two places 1 2 because here 2 0 in divisor okay 8 0 1 5 is your answer one more example i will give you suppose 5.36 into 10 ok so here you see only one zero so decimal point shifts to the right by one place so 53.6 is your answer ok so today your homework is page number 116 exercise 7.6 question number 1 Okay, thank you my dear students.